Hi! In this video, I'm going to quickly show you how to use the render form with short instructions that explain step by step where to click and how to send the scene for rendering. I've mentioned this render form more than once because I have been using it for a long time. Super renders form. I like the value for money, feedback, and speed. So I'll show you how I calculate everything on my project. First, you need to register on the site. We can go to our personal account when we have it created. On the dashboard, we can see the status of all the frames that are currently being rendered on the site. In the analysis section, we can upload a scene file and find out if there are any errors before rendering. But we start by installing the app for comfortable work and interaction with the render farm. This way, you can transfer the scene to the farm directly from 3ds Max. We download it from the website and install it like a regular program. Before I start rendering, I calculate how much money each package will cost. To do this, go to the calculator. Choose your processor. I'll put in mine for now. And press calculation. We can see that on my processor 50 frames of animation of 10 minutes each will be ready in 8 hours. And on the platform it will be 9 minutes on the cheapest package. And it will cost $6. And then the cost doubles and triples if you need to do it faster. However, I want to warn you that these are approximate figures, because in fact before rendering the scene is uploaded to the platform, analyzed and has a render queue if you are on the cheapest package. So you need to add another 1-2 hours of waiting to these minutes. That said, the render time is still not that long. I need to render 300 frames of 16 minutes each. The cost of such render is $57, usually it comes out even a little less. But I buy a bigger amount so that the process does not pause just in case. But if it so happens that you don't have enough credits and the rendering is paused, you can always write to support, managers answer in chats on the site and in WhatsApp 24-7. When you have 3ds Max turned off, you install the application that you downloaded from the site. When you launch the application, you will see the login window to your personal account. The email and password are the same as on the website. Enter the application and see a mobile version of your personal account. There are virtual disks here to download additional plugins and textures that can be used in the scene, as well as a frame status window. And most importantly, go to the plugin tab. You will be offered to install the plugin to 3ds Max. We definitely do it. Before you start rendering, you need to buy credits. The cost is one to one. One credit is one dollar. But with my promo code, you will have a 15% discount. Pay by PayPal and card. Let's go to our scene. We now have the Super Render step, which will allow us to send the scene for rendering. Before doing this, we need to go to the settings as before a regular animation render and specify the number of frames, render time, and frame names. Select the desired frame in the viewport. But be sure to uncheck the log in the settings, otherwise an error may occur. Enter the number of frames. Choose a folder to save it in and write down the names of the frames. Next, select the time for each frame, 16 minutes. And set the animation mode. That's it. Now you can send it all to the farm. Launch the plugin. A window appears that shows missing textures or errors in the scene, the size and the number of frames. You can remove the errors and click on refresh. If everything's fine, click on load. We have a list of cameras in the scene. You can check if you have selected the correct camera in the viewport, check the number of frames and select the desired package at the bottom. 
click on the download button. Here is a standard error with LUT, but I downloaded it separately to a virtual disk. And we can see how the scene is loaded on the platform. The process is over. The process of analysis and rendering has already begun. We will see the stage scale and how many credits have been spent. As soon as it reaches 100%, you will be able to download all the images to your computer. But you can also download them individually during this process and see the result on the site so that you can stop everything just in case. You can also check the status on the site. In the Output folder, you will find all the images that can be viewed and downloaded. If you have any problems, for example, if one frame is missing, you can write to the support chat and they will find everything and help you. Let me remind you that we have a promo code for this platform, so use it with pleasure and save yourself time. Bye-bye!